Dale Carnegie famously wrote in his book, How to Win Friends and Influence People, that no one wins an argument. He wrote that the only way to win an argument is to not have an argument at all. His book was written, as I understand it, at about the same time as the Great Depression, and people were fully aware of the underpinning importance of establishing alliances. While nothing but praise can be said for this mindset and philosophy, no one at that time could imagine the impact that social media and the internet could play on society and the damaging results misinformation and fake news could play on us all. We have previously been living in a world where we place more importance on feelings rather than facts. We place value and importance on the feelings of those who are lost, misguided, and simply incorrect. We do not want to hurt their feelings by telling them that they are wrong. The problem with this is that, to quote a friend of mine, this simply won't fly anymore. Social media has made it such that these passionate fools get a foothold on our international psyche and like a disease it spreads. It affects the minds of the young and limits their ability to survive and be successful in our high-tech and highly competitive world stage. We all believe in free speech and we all think that everyone should have the right to believe in whatever they want to believe. But social media has blurred the line between faith, belief, and outright lying through false advertising. And this can become criminal or at least unethical. Social media is a new territory for all of us and has made it much easier for buffoons to spread their flim-flam. And if their nonsense is fueled with a passion such as conspiracy theory or a distrust for authority, it is as if these lies are weaponized and they go viral. But there is hope. Free speech works both ways. We have a right and a duty to stand up to this evil. We have to change. We have to put aside our desire to be non-confrontational. Fighting stupidity is worth the effort. Our survival might just be at stake. The next generations are going to most likely face challenges that we cannot imagine today. Will they be prepared to face it? I do not think they will be if a large portion of them are convinced that the earth is flat. Charles Bukowski once said, quote, The problem with the world is that the intelligent people are full of doubts, while the stupid ones are full of confidence. End quote. I think we can change the world. I'm not suggesting we fight nonsense blindly, but they have the burden of proof. And if we can prove them wrong, and if we can debunk their fallacies, then that conquest should be and will be known. The age of ignoring these deluded fools should be put behind us. The age of Dale Carnegie and avoiding arguments is not the world of today. And Carnegie could not imagine a world where entertaining lies are propagated and spread electronically around the world. Today we should argue. Like I said, freedom of speech works both ways and we should harness this. We should argue to the max. I need you to join me on argumax.com and make the world a better place for everyone. I started this website because I found that the mainstream media were being far less than truthful. They would tell us what they thought we wanted to hear and believe in order to generate ad revenue. In the election cycle of 2016, argumax.com was a PAC, a political action committee. With the next election cycle coming, I want this website to be a much more powerful force for truth and authentic information in a place where misinformation can be argued. So here's what I'm going to do. If you look at the membership list of a Facebook group, you can see who added a member. Also, Facebook group allows me to download this content. Since I'm a software engineer writing a program that parses this information into a sortable database, is very easy for me to do. I'm going to reward $100 to the person who adds the most members during the month of July 2019. Now, I know what you're probably thinking. You're probably thinking that anyone can run a script where they create hundreds of fake users and friend them and add them. Well, Facebook will probably catch you if you try this. So I cannot condone you doing this. Also, please do not add anyone who will object to you doing so. Also, I'm only going to count new members, so it is not fair for people to leave the group and then return or rejoin. 
those people are not going to be counted. Now, depending on how this works, I intend to have another membership drive like this one, but the next one is going to have more rules where the members have to be confirmed on argumax.com, and it will probably be for a much larger reward. But apart from all that, this website should be something you should support anyway, regardless of any contest or promotion I put forth. If you're not already a member of the Facebook group page, you should join argumax.com Facebook group. The link will be posted below and add your friends. If they object to you adding them to the group, show them this video. You should care about our country. You should care about having an informed electorate. If voters are misinformed, it hurts. It hurts all of us. You should care about that.